What's he doing? Has he dropped him out? No way. Come on, love, put me out of my misery. My knees kill me. Of course I'll marry you, dear. Get <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no. I'm sure it was the oh. right size. I get it changed. Matty, you could have given me a hula hoop. Mm. Oh. Wish you'd have told me that. Oh. Congratulations. It's a bit uh, unexpected. Well, I was overwhelmed by my feelings, so. All makes sense now. I was going to propose on Monday night. And Mexico? I couldn't think of a better place for the honeymoon. Well, to be too fair, it was Vinny's idea. I've asked him to be my best man, by the way. Ah. This is uh, it's big news. It's like a brand new future, mm. right? Yeah. I love your mother. All I want is to make her happy. Oh. <laughs> I think this calls for champagne. Um, Tim was just buying some, actually. Oh, yeah, lucky me. Hey, maybe Michael could split it with me. Ooh, we could have a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so... You're the son of that slapper, Denise. Tracy. My mother's a hairdresser. <sighs> Need I say more? This isn't how I wanted you to meet. So your mum must have got me a message? Yeah. Well, how come she didn't get in touch? Or, or why didn't you get in touch? I thought she had. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be sneaky or anything. Yeah. So pleased that you could be here, Peter. It's Adam. Yeah, I meant, I meant that. You're Peter, I know. The words, they just come out wrong. That's why I didn't want you to see me. Yeah, but you let him see you. He didn't know at first. When I arrived, he was asleep. But I started reading to him anyway, in case he could hear. Yeah. King Lear. Thought I was dreaming. Then I woke up. That should uh, help my recovery. The words. Oh, don't tell me you're a flaming doctor and all. I'm doing a degree. English literature. Yeah, of course. You should have told us you were here. I'm sorry. Don't punish him. He didn't keep you away. I did. Well, we're all here now. Yeah. You came all this way. It's only what you did for me. Right, well, um, thank you for entertaining him and all that, but as you can see, his proper family is here now, so off you pop. Daniel, his proper family. You better get used to it. To the happy couple. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers, Mum. Thank you, darling. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Hey. You're not having second thoughts about us, are you? No, of course I'm not. Eh, uh, not the only happy couple, it seems. Uh, uh, how long has this been going on, hmm? Uh, what, a few weeks yeah. now? Uh, I thought you told me everything. I do. I just, I wanted to be sure for... Oh, there's just so much romance in there. Young love, nightmare. I'm so glad I'm over 40 and know my own mind. <laughs> Gary, really pleased you found a woman who will change your life, just like I have. Oh, well, I'm sorry, everyone, but I now have to go and kiss my fiance. Mm -hmm. Unless we don't have to watch. <laughs> Amen to that. Gary Windass, of all people. Right, I'm going to go home and get the wife to cook me tea. Don't tell her I said that. I'm just going to go over and have a word with Gary. Not before I have. You'd be disappointed, you know, not winning the cash prize. I'm gonna meet Peter Andre. We'll probably start going out and he's minted, so it won't matter. Oh, wait, hey, now steady on. I'm gonna touch him. I'm gonna kiss him. That is so gonna be my profile picture. Gemma and Peter sitting in a tree. S-N-O-G-G-I-N-G. -G -G. That's not how it goes. Good work. I'm amazed you didn't know. They said they'd sent you a letter. Oh, I must have thrown it out by mistake, thinking it's junk mail. Oh. Lucky they sent me one. You're coming too? Oh, chance to dress up. You try and stop me. What am I going to wear? Well, you must have a nice frock. I've got a gold boob tube. Makes my rack look massive. Uh, have you got anything a bit smarter? 
sequined onesie? No. Maybe I can borrow a frock off someone. What size are you? Six to eight. Or a twelve. Depends where it's from. Right. I'll see what I can do. I'm off to face the enemy. Norris. Who else? Well, I'm off to face the freezer. <laughs> see you. You are still keeping at the kebab shop, aren't you? No. It's a milk kebabs. Well, I can't find anywhere until I get paid. I'm sure why you won't let you keep upstairs. It's all right. It ain't that bad at the kebab shop. And if I get hungry in the night, there's loads to eat. Only if you're sure. Could you wash some clothes for me? Uh, can I have a quick word? Yeah, go on. I'm not best pleased about you and Sarah. Really, I'd never guessed. I know she looks tough on the outside, but she's still a very vulnerable young girl. I know. So forgive me if I don't welcome the idea of her dating the most volatile young man on the street. Not me. I think you got to look a little bit closer to home for that one, girl. I'm under no illusions about David, believe me. Then that makes two of us. One thing you can say about him is he was a devoted husband and father. <laughs> is a devoted father. I'm there for Jake. He still left his mum. Relationships break down. I mean, you of all people should know that one. Add to that a catalogue of disasters you've got behind you. Look, you son nearly killed my mum. Right, she'll be scarred for the rest of her life because of what he did. So I'd be really careful before you start throwing accusations at me, all right? Did you um, tell her it was David? No. And I'm not going to per se come for Sarah's. Look, those things I did are in the past. Right, I'm a different person now. I've grown up. Where have I heard that before? And I love your daughter. I want to do everything I can to give her and the kids the life they deserve. Do you know, I think I believe you. I swear it. You know, the irony is that you and David aren't that different. I love my son. I don't want another like him. We are very pleased with his progress and feel happy to send him home tomorrow. Okay. Really? We had him up and about yesterday, didn't we? Oh, yeah, with a... With a, um... a crutch. Yeah, like an old man. <laughs> There seems to be no motor damage, so he'll soon get his strength back. There'll be people around to help him? Yes. yes. Uh, what about the aphasia? Will it improve? It usually gets better over time. Surely he's going to have medical support. The discharge team will help him initially. He'll need proper physio speech therapy. His symptoms really aren't that severe. If this were a private hospital, he'd be getting all that. We should think about going private. I don't want that. I'll pay. Great idea. No. All right, look. Let's do this later. I think Dad needs to rest. Shall I stay? Well, why don't you come back with us? Me and Tracy are going to take Adam and the kids out for some tea. So join us. Really? Yeah. Why not your family? You'll get used to Tracy. She's like this with everyone. Hey, uh, what's going on here? Don't pretend you don't know. He told me Mexico was your idea. Like you said, Minnie. Really. That's a place for a honeymoon. Thank you. It wasn't the proposal I had planned, but this one here, she got wind I was hiding something, so I had to come clean. Mm. Come on, you. Get us a bottle of champagne. What are you playing at? She found out about Mexico. Had to do something. Right, the plan still goes ahead. Monday is cut and run. Obviously. She get my answer full message. Laughing boy over there, sniffing around the site this morning. I've lost my phone. Must have dropped out of my pocket at the builders' yard. I haven't had a chance to look for you. Yeah, well, Pinky and Perky saw him off. He's still being pretty nosy, though. He's just making shadows. Do you know, I really think that as buyers, you should be visiting the site. Should we? No, no, it's all going to plan. Well, you know, if I'd invested the kind of money you have, I'd want to see it for myself. That's a good point. In fact, you could go with them, Gary. You know, your expertise would come in handy. <laughs> oh, I can assure you, it's all, it's all bang on schedule, so... You can definitely release the cash for our trip. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. What is the schedule? Um, I'm not really sure offhand, but I'll, I'll check tomorrow. So, what stage of the building works at now, exactly? Well, you know, feeling's a person to talk to about specifics, because uh, I'm not a builder, so... Have they finished the plumbing? <clears throat> it's not really my department. Oh. Sorry, I've just got to get this text. Sorry. 
I really think that you two, Rita, Jenny, in fact, all the buyers, should demand a visit as soon as possible. Get answers to all this. Yeah, I think you're right. What's the homework? Anything I can help with? Maths, algebra. Maybe not. Now, if it were chemistry, <laughs> believe it or not, I were really good at chemistry. I think I just like putting things together and watching them fizz and change colour. Oh, I remember this one Seth. time that... Oh. I weren't really doing that. It's just for show. You said you had something for me. I nicked it. Did you? Where are you from? Some bloke. Out under his nose. He didn't see me. We get a few quid for this, you know. That's what I thought. Right, we'll take this guy now tomorrow. Split the profits. Drowning out there. Hey? Why didn't you answer me text? Oh, I've, uh, I've watched my phone. Right. Michael is telling everyone to visit the site. They're all up for it. Even Billy. Just tell me what to do. Meet me and Billy in the backyard. Five minutes. Five minutes? I'm supposed to do for five minutes. There's enough of us to have a full time motor. Yeah, uh, listen, I work full time and I'm a single mother, so. I'm not going to be able to help out with Dad as much as you like. Tracy works sometimes when Mary's not there, and Amy's moving in with Steve. It's the mental responsibility. It never ends. Oh, OK. Anyway, look, I'm not working, so I don't mind doing the lion's shit. There's no need. We'll split it. How long are you planning on staying? As long as it takes. When I was ill, he stayed with me a year. I can be here in between lectures. I don't need to go home. Mum's not there. I think between us all, he's in good hands. So who's your mum, then? How come Grandad's your dad? Uh, well, they... Did you have an affair? No. Oh, uh, well, as good as. Him and Grandma Deirdre were on a break. Why, because of his mum? No, because life's complicated sometimes, love, that's why. So it's just you and your mum, is it, Daniel? Yeah, but she's away a lot with her new boyfriend, so... Sounds like a right slapper. <laughs> Amy, can we just be polite, please? Why is no one coming to take our order? Hey. Uh, one of my staff will be with you in a minute, sir. We've been here ten. That's my ex. Him? Yep, he, uh, he cheated on me, he broke my heart, and then he dumped me. Salad, chilli sauce. Ah, uh, stick everything on it. I'm having a tough day. I need to get more salad. Uh, I'll go. No, 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 no. You're the manager. I'll go. I don't mind. No, I ain't messing with the hierarchy. Eh? Yeah. Good old fashioned work ethic, that. <sighs> Gemma? Rubbish out. How did all that get in there? Last time it was a bra. I'm not an idiot, Jenna. I'm nice stitching on them. He has wound Sarah and Gary right up. You see, they have nothing. He hasn't. It's all hot air. What are we going to tell him? Hey? Tell him we'll have an open day on Thursday. We'll have a grand tour and a QA and a for all the buyers. What are we going to show him? I don't know. I have some machinery. A digger, get some lads in. Made the place look busy. Yeah, you dig it up as much as you like. Tell them to invite all the friends, all the family. Yeah, and if they get pushy before then, tell them it's um, a health and safety thing. We need to make the site secure. Yeah, think you can handle that? Yeah. Good lad. Not long to go now. Nearly there. He's a freak. Look, have I wing your gym? Have I? Mm. Uh, fine, is it? Look who's there. I'm too tired for any more aggro today. All right, let's just have a pint and talk about that order. Hi. 
hungry, were you? Uh, I, I got to eat today. You intellectuals, too busy living in imaginary worlds. I prefer the physical stuff myself. Did you really play ice hockey? Only amateur. I'll take you sometime. Awesome. How about you, Amy? You in a sport? I'm more of a musician. Really? I play clarinet. That's sad. Melancholy and sound, perhaps. But... No, I mean sad, as in sad. What do you play, Amy? The violin and the recorder. At the same time, very impressive. Something <laughs> <laughs> all right? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like you enjoyed that. Actually, mine's not. Can I speak to the chef? Yes, certainly. Uh, Robert? Yes. This steak's a bit tough. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. You did ask for rare. Not bloody. Do you put him up to this? Excuse me? What's well, just the kind of thing you do? Don't you dare talk to her like that. It's none of your business. Anybody treats a member of my family badly, it's my business. What have you been telling him? The truth. So I suggest you change your tone when you speak to her in the future. Oh, what? Well, you'll have me to deal with, that's what. Yeah? All right, that's enough. Not in here. Adam. I think we'll skip dessert, love. We'll just get the bill. Yeah, sure. I'll get it. But I'm not paying for this. You what? Well, we'll just take it off the bill, won't we? Yeah. He's making a lot of friends, that guy. So I couldn't stay. They smashed my window and they want grass on my front door. Why? Because of a riot. Testified against Clayton. He killed someone. It don't matter, it's still grassy. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because that would, like, make me a double grass. No, it wouldn't. I'd be fine when I get paid. Mm, that's dead for an advance. No, I'd rather wait or I'll be skint again next week. Can I stay at yours a few nights? Oh, general practice it is. I'm sorry. I'm sure someone else can help out. What about Roy? It's all right. I'm fine here. But you can't stay. It's not that bad. There's all sorts of health and safety issues. If Dev found out, he'd sack you. You're not going to tell him, are you? No. But if he finds out I knew you were here, I'll lose my job and all. Just one more night. I'll find somewhere tomorrow. I promise. The place hasn't changed a bit. Are you sure it's okay for me to stay the night? I can get the boss home. Uh, you're not having my room. Look, I've been keeping in my dad's room. You can have that. Because Amy's round at the Rovers, so I'll sleep in her bed. Come on, Shakespeare. You can help me unpack. <sighs> Blimey. Oh, too right. Hey, nice to see Adam again, though. Got over your nerves, have you? Think so. Good, because he is great. What happened to I don't care what Adam thinks of us? Mm, that was before I saw his car and his cash. And when he wound up Robert. Exactly. Anyway. Anybody can hire a flash car. Oh, really? Yeah. Why haven't you got one, then? <laughs> oh, Daniel, eh? Yeah. I really didn't expect him to be the mystery visitor. He's like a mini-dad. <laughs> yeah. It's like a kid he always wanted. <laughs> yeah. Hey, darling. Hiya. What do you fancy for your tea? Well, it's all right. I'll do it. You sit down. Oh, you're an angel. What's that? Oh, it's just my phone. I changed the ringtone. I mean, um, Seb's phone. I forgot to add it. Let me see. Why? I found it on the floor. You stole it. I didn't. Did Seb put you up to this? N no, it was all me. You're in big trouble. What are you going to do? I don't know. Mum, please. Go to your room. What are you going to do? I don't know. Go to your room or I'm calling the police.
Well, I think an open day is a really good idea. Yeah, I'll definitely come back. Yeah, well, I think I'll tell Jenny. Such a shame Alex couldn't get one of those yes. flats. No, I'll come too. Why? I'm just to keep you company. <laughs> all right, OK. Well, I'll uh, give you all the details on Monday. Funny how you just come up with this now. Well, we're responding to demand. What's the problem with that? Look, you're obviously concerned about the building work, so come down on Thursday. See for yourself. You really surprised me today. You know? Yeah. Who'd have thought I'd be sat here? Looking at an engagement ring that doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at an engagement ring that doesn't fit with being the happiest I've ever been in my life. I love you, Pat Beelan. I love you too. And I'm sorry. For what? You deserve better. Give over. It's true. You make me feel safe. First time in my life. And I'm not worried about the future. <laughs> Next, these cheeky chaps have a surprise in store. See how the camp react when we're live with I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. And on ITV Encore Next, getting justice for a 36-year-old crime. Drama Unforgotten continues. Thank you.